Hi, I'm Amanda Jenner, potty training expert, and this bit is for the grown-ups. Here are my top potty training tips. Is your toddler ready? There is no set age as when to start potty training, but it's usually around two years old. Toddlers will start to recognise when they have done a wee or a poo. They will normally stop when doing a wee, or sometimes hide to even do a poo. They may even inform you when they are doing a wee. This is perfect timing, so get those nappies off, pull-ups or pants on and get going. Don't compare your toddler to others as they will learn at a different pace. Timing. Some people think that starting potty training is just for the warmer weather. This is not the case. Begin when your toddler is ready. It's not good to start if your toddler has been poorly, there's been a new baby in the family, there's been a change of nursery school, or you have recently moved home, so it's best to wait until things have settled down. Working together. It is so important that both parents and carers stick to the same training process. This means using the same reward system. Toddlers work best in a daily routine. Communication is key. Keep carers, grandparents and nursery schools informed that you are potty training from the same programme. This is vital getting them involved. It's important to involve your toddler from day one in choosing their potty and big girl and big boy pants. This engages them in the process and helps to make these items their personal possession. After all, it is the toddler who's potty training. A potty storybook is also perfect to help. All children love stories. Get them excited about this new adventure they are about to start. Let's begin. In the first week, every morning, place your little one on their potty or toilet as soon as they wake up and make this part of their routine. During the day, every 20 minutes after your child has had a drink, ask them to sit on their potty. Keep repeating this process daily as little ones all like routine. They may or may not need to go, but do keep to the pattern every day. Teach them to wash their hands after using the potty or toilet from the beginning, making this part of their training. Toddlers do become very distracted by other things, so you will have to keep reminding them of the job in hand, as you are their trainer. Accidents will happen, so it's important not to become cross, but calmly remind them to use their potty next time. Avoid too many layers of clothing, as when they need to go, there is normally no warning. Always remember spare clothes when going out or when your toddler is going to nursery. It's important you don't lose patience and revert back to nappies for convenience or when the going gets tough. This will set your toddler back enormously and ruin all the hard work you've put in so far. Rewarding. Buy a reward chart or make your own together. Call this their special sticker chart and get them to choose a magic sticker every time they use their potty or toilet. And give them lots of praise, even if they try and nothing happens. Don't ever punish them or they will associate this with using the potty and making mummy and daddy angry. It's harder getting a toddler to do a poo on the potty, so have a reward box, especially for this extra encouragement. Choose some simple treats such as a small toy, crayons, tiny books or just use your imagination. It's good to change the reward system if they start to lose interest. This keeps them interested and continues the fun and encouragement. Out and about. When potty training I hear so many times we are definitely not going to venture out but this is not the way to do it. You have to teach your toddler from day one that they have to take their potty everywhere they go. Inform your child you have the potty with you so they feel secure and confident when you go out. Huggies pull-up pants are also a great addition too. Using these alongside a potty or toilet trainer seat will leave you feeling you can go anywhere and never get caught short. It's good practice to remember to take a little reward with you when out as this keeps the training consistent. Bedtime. 
Night times can often be a little bit more challenging and take longer to potty train. It's very important to reduce liquids around 30 minutes before bedtime. This does include fruit, which also contains up to 80% of water. Get them to sit on the potty or toilet just before you say goodnight. Get a good night light as this can cause anxiety when getting up in the dark to do a wee, which also can cause bed wetting. Some toddlers go into a very deep sleep and do not wake up when they need the toilet. This may require you to lift them out of bed and sit them on the potty or toilet just before you go to bed. Dry night pull-up pants are a very good option when you start nighttime training. Thank you for watching and good luck with your potty training journey.